this is Ella's camera so that's the on switch that's the mode dial the shutter button there the zoom there the viewfinder is there and the screen pulls out and there it is and the screen you can go up and down and turn it right round click it in like that if you want to or you can turn it round to the front so you can actually watch yourself from in front so to turn it on hit the with your thumb just go to the right and that puts it in, in, into uh, shooting mode if you put it if you go put your thumb left it goes into um, playback mode so there we are we're in we're in shooting mode we want to, <coughs> to start with put the mode dial into auto you can, um, you can try these other ones these are various ways of setting manual making manual settings these are various sorts of um, shooting situations but for now leave it on manual look at the look at what you want to take a photo of which uh, I don't know there's not much around here now before when we take a photo we want to put uh, a first pressure hear that that tells me that it's giving one one um, beep which means it's not actually either the focus is out or there's not enough um, light so we'll point it towards the, the window and it should be enough light there if we push the button here the double click do it again that tells me that the focus is good and the exposure is good and then the second pressure takes the photo when you're doing that let's see if we can see if we can get it see the little square in the center let's try and get it a bit more a bit clearer there the square in the center first pressure see it turns green and gives a double click and then takes the photo if there's not enough light or the focus is, is out, that little square in the centre. Oh, that's all right. Hang on, make it. So one one beep, and it's a yellow square. You can still take the photo, but you may not get a very good one. Um, <clears throat> so let's take a photo. Um, Look, th look through the viewfinder if you want to. Can we get that? There we go. You can see it's not a very good picture there, but anyway. Um, or use the screen. First pressure, second pressure, and there you have it. So that's taking a photo. Now, if you want to look at the photo, Flick this to the, flick your, th your thumb to the left, which means the front of the lever goes to the right. We get the green light, and now we can go through the photos with this little doofer up here and see what we've got. Now to transfer it to, to a computer, we can turn it. We can, oops, we can turn it off. There's a little rubber cover here we open that and that's the usb plug there which you can plug into the computer which i won't show at the moment so that's the first <coughs> stuff i'll just put this close this up so it doesn't get damaged when you want to change the batteries, that goes up and back, and there's four um, AA batteries. These ones are rechargeable NIMH, 
and there's a charger with your stuff. The other set of batteries, which I sort of brought out, but didn't, <coughs> are lithium single-use batteries. And uh, uh, they're, they're there to put into the camera when you um, have it, are charging these ones up. Let's see what else we've got on the instructions here. Now, <coughs> This bit, this bit here is actually an, an addition. So, so there's a little button just under, under the lens just there. Push that in, twist and lift. And that's actually the basic camera. This addition is a, this is an additional adapter um, ring. To put the ad adapter ring on, there's a, there's a little dot there, little white dot. On the adapter ring there's a little white dot, if I can find it, a little red dot, in, turn until it clicks. <coughs> it looks like those other batteries are not too flash, so I'll go in later and get some new ones. So to open the battery compartment we push that across and open it up, and then I've put in these ones which are rechargeable nickel metal hydride. It'll probably be better to get some others. And also, I've given you some lithium batteries. Lithium single-use batteries. So these ones with the purple um, end. <coughs> and so they last a long time, but they are only single-use. So it's better to use the um, rechargeables until they go flat, and then put them on charge and use the, the lithiums. So this at the front here is an extension and so when we turn the camera on you can see that the lens comes out sort of inside this. So this external tube is quite a good thing to protect the lens. It doesn't have to be here. Works perfectly well otherwise. Um, now what the way the camera comes originally is that we have this ring there. and just in the same way as the tube that just uh, clicks, clicks on top and then there it is and this lens cap just slips over there and that little bit of a little loop of string you can just loop into the um, into the um, strap there. It's a loose fit because if you if by mistake you um, turn the camera on with the lens cap on, you don't want it to uh, you don't want it to stick. You want it to just uh, fall off of its own accord without damaging the little motor that pushes the lens out. So that's why it's a loose fit. And that's why, in my mind, it's actually quite a nice idea to leave the um, oops, to leave the tube on all the time. It also acts as a uh, as a lens hood, so it keeps the sun from shining on the lens at an angle, which is not you know, which, which you get flare on the photograph. And the only time you might it might be a nuisance is if you're shooting close up. With the flash, and this would get in the road. I'll show you the flash in a minute. So, if we wanted, to, if, if the um, camera comes up saying that it needs a flash, raise the flash, raise the flash. Okay. So, lift that up there. That turns the flash on, and if the d mode dial is on automatic. You don't have any option, it'll it'll uh, shoot the flash when it thinks there's a need for it, so here it is. The other thing that this uh, lens ex uh, adapter does, it allows you to put a lens in the front here. And you've got a, a wide angle additional lens and a telephoto additional lens. So the wide angle lens lets you 
get more into the more into into the picture. It's probably best to take the um, tube off and put it on the lens rather than put the lens onto the um, onto the tube while it's on the camera. Well, it doesn't matter that much. Just make sure it's goes on nice and easily. The um, front lens cover just pops off. You can put the uh, there it is. And so what we can see with the that wide angle lens on is let's see if you can see that is it goes from one side to the other of the um, of the base of the fireplace and with that uh, lens oops, taken off we can, let's have a look at what we can see um, you can see how it's it's much um, it doesn't show up very well And it, it, it it really cuts off each side of the um, fireplace. So if you're in a um, in a room and you're trying to get a lot of people uh, in, then that's quite a nice lens to be able to put on. So this is the wide angle. So it just uh, screws on the end of the of the adapter tube, and uh, that's it. To take movies, one of two things: you can just press this button at any time. It doesn't matter whether you're uh, you can be in auto mode and and if you press the movie button it'll start taking movies you can see the little red recording um, sign just there or you can turn the mode dial uh, right round to there which is movies and press the button and it just works the same way. <clears throat> I think there's doing it using it with the mode button I think makes a few minor changes but it doesn't matter that much. You can have a look at the menu the, at the manual for that. On the back here we've got the menu the menu button there and that brings up a whole bunch of stuff. So you use the right left up down to go through that. Um, you can have a look at <clears throat> what that does. What can happen is when you're holding the, um, the, the the camera sort of like that, sometimes you can hit the menu button by mistake. But if you just hit the menu button again, it brings it back, puts the menu away. The other thing that might be worthwhile is here you've got the function button. And that changes the uh, if you if you go right and left actually maybe I'll put it like that it might be you can go right go right and left and that changes the quality of the of the photo um, and you can go up and down so so the top one changes the quality of the movie and if you go down it changes the quality of the still photos. I've got it on M2, and when you press set to set that, it says, okay, now do you want fine, normal, or super fine? And I've got it on fine. Press set, and press function to go away from it, and there it's done. Bear in mind that uh, the better quality picture gives you a much larger file. <coughs> If you want to take close-ups, see this button here, bottom, bottom one with a little flower on it, and you press that. I press it twice there. It goes to macro mode and press it again and it goes away from macro. Now you can also go into super macro, but to do that you've got to move the, that dial around to there, around to P, and then you've got Macro, let's get out of that, or you hold the button down and you can see it goes to super macro, which means you can get really close. 
and then you press the macro button again to get out of it. If you want to take a selfie, you've got a self timer mode. So turn it on. The self timer button is up on top here, and if we're on auto mode, we push that down and see where it says 10 seconds and that's up there the top of the screen is a little 10 so what we can do we can see what the camera is looking at rush around to the front so now it's counting down Counts. Looking at the camera and taking this with. Well, here it is.